What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and in today's episode of the First Person Shooter Tutorial Series, we are going to be going over weapon sounds, so fire sounds and weapon switching sounds. You'll notice that the blaster and really all of our weapons in Unreal had a default noise that was playing, so if I shoot my weapon, it sounds like this. And I've changed it a bit from the default because now I've added my own custom sound, but if I pick up a different weapon, you'll notice that it sounds different than the blaster. And the same goes for my third weapon as well. On top of that, I've added a weapon switching sound, which did not exist before. So now if I switch my weapon, you can hear this sound effect. So there you go. We're going to be adding our own custom sound effects in our game today. We're not going to use the default sound effect logic anymore that's in the template. We're going to make it all custom so we can switch them out. Before we get started, if you want to get caught up in the series, I will link you to the entire playlist of the First Person Shooter tutorial series. We have done quite a few episodes so far, we still have many, many to go. But if you like what you see and you want to get caught up and be able to do these things in your game, then feel free to click that link and get started on that. If you only care about the weapon sound effects, that's also perfectly fine. I would recommend that you watch this video first so that you can see how we made our weapons array. That way you know how to grab the sound effects off the particular weapon. This is a code and blueprint tutorial. We're going to be doing almost all of it in the code today. So we're going to start out by going into Visual Studio. Let's go into baseweapon.h and scroll down to our variables. We're going to make two variables here. We're going to make variables for each of our sound effects. So again, I've added a fire sound and a swap sound. You can do this by making a U sound base pointer and then the name of your variable. For firing the weapon, I call it the fire sound. And for swapping the weapon, I call it swap sound. I made them both U property so that we can access them in the blueprint, but we can also assign them in the blueprint, which is going to be very useful because we are going to want to do this for each of the weapon BPs. We're going to pick our sound effects that we have in the editor and assign them in the class defaults for that weapon. So in here we go U property edit anywhere, blueprint, read, write. And this just basically means that we will be able to see it in the blueprint as well as set the value, which as I just mentioned, we are going to be setting the value in the blueprints. We have a category of weapon just so it's more organized, but all my categories are weapon for this class. So it doesn't really matter if you have this or not. I just do it out of habit. Now, after you have these two variables for your sound effects, let's go into the base weapon.cpp and go into the constructor where we set all the default values. I want to set my fire sound and swap sound to null pointer by default, saying there's no sound for them. If there's no sound, you can still fire your weapon. It just won't make a sound. Additionally, for those of you that are following this series the whole way through, I did forget to set the crosshairs to a default value. Hasn't really impacted anything in the series, but it's good practice, so I recommend that you do that if you haven't already. Once you've set the default value for all those variables, we can go into the FPS tutorial character.cpp and we're gonna to go to where we're firing the weapon. So essentially we have a button that calls fire or start firing. If I go down to start firing, you can see we call it the on fire function as long as we're not dead when we're trying to do this, which is right here. And in the on fire function, we're going through our logic, making sure we can actually fire our weapon. And then we're calling fire on the particular weapon. So the base weapon, has its own fire class because each weapon can have different logic for shooting or for firing. Below this, we were handling behavior for automatic weapons, but we can skip that for now because we're not going to touch that. And then below that, we had this default fire sound logic that came with the template, which is to play the sound effect that is set in the fire sound. However, this fire sound variable was set on the character. So the character would always play the same fire sound or the same sound effect for firing every single weapon in the game. Since we have set those variables, the fire sound swap sound on the base weapon, we want to make sure that we're using the correct weapons sound effect when playing it. So I've commented out this entire if statement, as well as the logic within it, and I'm actually going to remove it because I don't want to play the sound effects in here. Instead, we're going to now go into the base weapon.cpp and scroll down to the fire event or function that we have right here. Regardless of the weapon mode, single burst or auto, we want to play the sound effects for it. So at the very bottom of this function, I've added the logic to play the firing sound effect for the weapon. We're going to use U gameplay statics colon colon play sound at location. 
you will get an error if you try and do this right now because we haven't included this U gameplay statics. Scroll up to the top of your file and make sure you add this include, include kismet slash gameplay statics dot h. And once you do that, you'll get access to the U gameplay statics class. And we can scroll back down and then use this. So again, U gameplay statics colon colon play sound at location. Play sound at location takes a few parameters. Here are the important ones for today's episode. So we have this which is the owner or basically the thing that is creating the sound effect and we're in the weapon. We're gonna say the weapon is creating the sound effect. So this is referencing this specific instance of this class. Then the sound effect that we wanna play, which is the fire sound variable that we have, this just works right away. and where the sound should be played because we are playing a sound at a location. This is going to be played at this location because if we are in a multiplayer scenario, you could have characters at different locations or players at those different locations and they should hear the sound where it came from. Since the weapon is the one creating the sound, we can just use the weapon's location. So we're gonna pass in get actor location for the location of the sound. Once that's done, we have done everything we need for the fire sound for the moment. Let's go into the FPS tutorial character.cpp again and scroll down to where we switch weapons. And for me, that is right here, the switch to next primary weapon. In switch to next primary weapon, this is what we do to actually switch out the mesh that we're using. So when we switch weapons, we're switching the weapon mesh, we're switching the different ammo counters and things like that. When we do this, we want to play a sound for swapping the weapon. So this could be either picking it up off the ground or just switching to it in our inventory. Either way, we want to play a sound for it. And right now I'm using the same sound. Now inside of this function, we check to see if we're forcing the character to switch to this weapon. So when you pick up a new weapon off the ground, I force the character to use that weapon that they just picked up. At that point, I was playing the sound effect. I actually wanna make this a little bit less specific and put it at the very bottom of this if statement, assuming that we are alive. So within the if not is dead if statement, the very last line here, I'm playing the sound effect for this. You could have different sound effects for picking a weapon off the ground and just switching to a different weapon in your inventory. But since I only have one sound effect right now, I'm just going to play it for both at the end of this function. Again, we are gonna use our U gameplay statics, colon, colon, play sound at location. And you can see up at the top of the file, I already had this included, but of course, if you are not following the series directly, make sure that you include it now because we are going to need it. Scrolling back down to our logic here, we need to pass in our parameters for the play sound at location. In this case, the character that is switching weapons is what's making the sound, it's not the weapon itself. And so I'm again using this as the only actor. Then we have to determine the sound effect that we wanna use. We wanna use the current weapons swapping sound because you could have different sounds per weapon for swapping to them. And in the series, it's quite simple. We just use our weapons array and grab the current weapon index that we are on. And then we grab the swap sound variable that we made earlier in this episode to actually play that proper sound effect. Lastly, we need the location. Even though the owner of this sound effect is the character, I do wanna play it at the location of the weapon just to make it a little bit more specific. Depends on how specific you wanna be, but this will be the most accurate for the sound effect of swapping weapons. To do that, I use my weapons array again with the weapon index, but now I use get actor location on that weapon. At this point, we can go into the editor. I'm gonna relaunch after that small change that I made and I'll catch up with you. The editor is now back open, so we can test this out just to make sure everything's working as expected. And you can see it is. I have weapon swapping sounds and shooting sounds. Now what we want to do is actually assign our custom sound effects to each individual weapon. So I have added a new folder called sounds and I've added a weapon swap sound. 
quite simply, if you have an audio file, like a .wav, like I had, you can just hit add and import to games and sounds in this folder, or just drag it into the folder you want in the file explorer while Unreal is open, and it will prompt you about it. It's very simple. You don't really have to set any specific settings. That is a sound that I made from some of the starter content. I just chopped it up and changed the pitch a little bit. The other sounds that I have are still in the starter content, and I have just changed their pitch in here. So if I go to audio, see I have explosion one through four now. So I have a few different sound effects that I can actually use here for my weapons. Of course, you can make all your own custom sounds and get it sounding really nice. I just use these because this is what I had right now. And since this is just a tutorial, it doesn't really matter what sound effects we use, but I wanted something similar to firing a weapon. Anyway, once you have your sound effects, you're going to want to go to your weapons. So specifically, go to your weapon blueprint. So for me, I have base weapon BP. That's the one we will start in. And when I come in here, I should have my defaults for fire sound and swap sound. Right now, they shouldn't be assigned to anything. We just created them. They're not going to have anything in here. Just click the drop down and pick the sound you want for this weapon. My base weapon is my blaster. So how do I want my blaster to sound? And I've chosen this explosion for sound effect. So I just selected it from the list and now we're good to go. Swap sound, same thing. I have weapon swap one here. I decided I wanted to use that for swapping to the blaster, so I did. An easy way to get some variation for other weapons, if you want to use the same sound effects, if you don't have a huge collection right now, is to go into the sound effect and just play with the volume or pitch. You have a few options you can actually change in here without getting into sound cues and things. So it's a very simple way to make new sounds out of pre-existing sounds. Just go into your other weapons and set their sound effects as well. So here are my class defaults, my assault rifle BP. So I have explosion 01 and I'm using the same swap sound, weapon swap one. Just to show you, this is this weapon that I have right here. And I have these sounds on it. Lastly, I have my submachine gun, which is going to follow the same logic. So if I go to my class defaults, you'll see that I have fire sound and swap sound here. Again, you can make these all unique for each weapon, or you could share some of the same sounds for the weapons. It doesn't really matter. But at the end result, you should be able to play the sounds that are assigned on your weapon BP, and they should come out flawlessly. Anyway, guys, I hope that helped you make sound effects in your game. And if it did, please subscribe. There's more for the series than anything else you can do, and I really appreciate it. I want to give another thank you to my Patreon members and YouTube membership subscribers. You guys keep this series alive, and I'm so excited to continue to teach you what I've learned and what you guys want to see. Thank you so much for being amazing, as always. If you had any issues with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, feel free to join the Discord community. I would be happy to help you out. Anyway, guys, that's all I got, so thank you so much for watching. I'm Sean the Bro, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.